Good afternoon, welcome back to the channel. Today we are in Zeeland on a Wednesday afternoon. And uh, yeah, it is crystal clear at the moment. There are supposed to be some clouds, but um, yeah, we are hoping to shoot the Cygnus region of the Milky Way while it's still out beautifully over the North Sea in the Northwest. And uh, yeah, we are now scouting for some potential compositions for later tonight. Uh, so first up is this uh, lighthouse. So composition-wise, uh, this should be a fairly simple one, because uh, yeah, Cygnus is uh, rising, or rising Cygnus is standing almost vertically right behind uh, the lighthouse there. So uh, yeah, this will uh, be a pretty symmetrical one, I think, and uh, yeah, let's hope it uh, stays clear. <laughs> While driving to our second location, we crossed the impressive Oosterschelde storm surge barrier. This 9 km long structure is the largest and best known part of the Dutch Delta Works and can seal off the Oosterschelde if there is a threat of flooding. So we now come to a uh, very large beach and um, yeah, the sun is setting there uh, behind you. Uh, behind me. <laughs> And yeah, we have some uh, compositions in mind. There are some uh, poles uh, further down there, which uh, Koen has found on Google Maps. And uh, yeah, I think we will also stay here uh, for our uh, sky shots, and we'll uh, shoot the foreground uh, with the um, with the lighters later. Yeah, the clouds are uh, beginning to form. I have to say, uh, there are some high clouds, so we guess there will be some Milky Way action, but. We're probably not going to have uh, the most detail ever. But uh, yeah, perhaps we'll uh, switch later uh, <laughs> to star constellations because high clouds, as I said before, sometimes give a sort of uh, yeah, cool free star glow filter effect. So yeah, let's uh, see what we can find and uh, see how the night goes. Just asked me, is it possible to see Polaris already? <laughs> <laughs> I hope he was kidding, he was right. Uh. Okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> now, would you believe it? It seems our luck is running out. In the foreground uh, we had scouted on Google Maps has been <laughs> removed. So, yeah, we're now scrambling over the beach uh, to look for uh, some other uh, interesting, potential interesting compositions uh, to shoot with, mainly, I think, star constellations, because uh, the clouds are rolling in fast. <sighs> there are a uh, couple of small, uh, yeah, sort of beach restaurants, beach cafes. And uh, they're standing on uh, poles, as you can see behind me. And uh, yeah, they're not the most beautiful subject, but I think these might work pretty well as a sort of yeah lonely house because they're closed now because it's winter. You can even see the snow uh, laying there in the dunes; it's still frozen. So uh, yeah, lonely beach club with Orion above it, maybe. <laughs> as darkness approached, we got ready for the night. First star constellations are beginning to show themselves through the high clouds. There's Orion. And there behind uh, Kuhn we can see Venus at the horizon and uh, there above it we can see Jupiter. Right there in the middle of the frame we have Mars, planet Mars. And if you go up we see Origo with the bright star Capella which is now in the middle of the frame. So uh, yeah, it's beginning to get night. getting uh, pretty fresh here, so I've uh, put on the dew heater so that the dew won't uh, form on the lens. We're gonna need it tonight. <laughs> the first test shots are uh, coming in and uh, yeah, although we have some high clouds, it's still pretty much visible. So uh, I think tonight we will be all right. Thank you. 
So uh, our shooting uh, session is now in full swing. I was uh, shooting uh, Sickness and later uh, I think Orion. What are your plans, Koen? Yeah, so I'm also going to try to shoot uh, Sickness. Uh, I think it's 24 millimeters. Mm -hmm. And maybe if uh, the luck stays on our side and it stays clear, I'm also going to try Andromeda at nice. 200 or maybe even 400 millimeters. Ooh, that's exciting. Let's see how it turns out. Yeah, I'm really curious. So uh, why are your polar aligning again, Koen? Yeah, so I'm hoping to, uh, to be able to shoot Andromeda at 400 millimeters. So I need to be super accurate. 400 millimeters, all right, cool. <laughs> so Koen's now uh, putting on his counterweight. That's uh, to balance the star tracker so uh, that it will track more accurately. Checking the balance. While Kuhn was busy shooting Andromeda, I hunted for Orion. Oh boy, oh boy, what a night. It is super good, super clear. Kuhn is uh, now on his way with uh, shooting Andromeda at uh, 400 millimeters. And it looked brilliant. You can see uh, maybe behind me, you can see the moon rising. It's a beautiful sight. As astrophotographers, uh, we hate the moon sometimes, but to see it rise, that big orange ball, super large on the horizon, it's, it's uh, pretty special. So I'm now uh, yeah, looking uh, where I found the uh, beach uh, club <laughs> to uh, shoot the foreground with Orion above it. So that's the foreground done. And uh, can you believe it? Uh, it didn't even need some light painting because the moon there Helped me quite a bit, so uh, I think uh, the foregrounds are uh, well lit with only using the ambient light of the rising uh, almost full moon. Let's uh, check out how uh, Kuhn is doing with his uh, Andromeda 400mm shots. So we have another light in our face, so, uh, but well, it doesn't really matter because the moon, uh, as you can see behind us, I think, uh, has, uh, yeah, is getting uh, pretty high now. But uh, yeah, Kuhn is uh, just done with his uh, Andromeda stack uh, on 400 millimeters. How did it go? It's, it's, it's amazing. It's, it's amazing. It's, it's amazing. It's, it's amazing. It's super sharp. You already see a lot of details. So uh, I really can't wait to put it uh, through the processing. Yeah, we are looking at it on, uh, on this uh, screen, but <laughs> it looks really good. Only with a star adventure and a 400 millimeter lens. It's, it's really incredible. While enjoying Kuhn's Andromeda, we drove back to the lighthouse. So we are back at the lighthouse where we started our day. Uh, yeah, it looks beautiful. Um, the challenge here is that there is also a lighthouse uh, in the village, uh, yeah, a couple of uh, hundred meters uh, behind it. And it, um, it, the, the beam of that lighthouse uh, shines on uh, this lighthouse and that's okay because you think, oh yeah, light painting, but it also casts a shadow of the dike which is before it. So uh, yeah, there's also the moon out, so uh, let's hope uh, the moon uh, helps us to uh, yeah, compensate for that shadow. <laughs> And suddenly, out of nowhere, a car passed by on the dike and totally fixed our lighting issue. So, we are uh, done shooting the foregrounds of the lighthouse. So, uh, yeah, perhaps we will have to be uh, yeah, a bit creative in Photoshop to compensate for the uh, yeah, different lighting uh, which is cast on the uh, lighthouse. Yeah, we can also see our own shadows because the moon is exactly behind it. But uh, yeah, anyways, uh, all in all, uh, I think this was one of the best uh, astro uh, astro nights uh, I've had in a long time. Uh, I've had some good ones, but somehow this one, yeah, we thought, oh, there were clouds, there were clouds, we didn't see it coming anymore. And then suddenly it, it becomes such a good night. Yeah, we haven't seen the results uh, yet, of course, but uh, you have probably, so uh, I'm a bit curious, but I'm totally sure we will get something out of it, right? Definitely. What, yeah. do you, what did you think of the night? It was it was awesome. Totally unexpected, but uh, much better than uh, than we thought it would be. I think so too. So, anyways, guys, uh, thank you again for watching. See you on the next one. Bye bye. Bye. -bye.